Andre came to work at the factory at the beginning of the war in Donbass. He says that he had the honour to work on the new infantry fighting vehicle, and this week it was being revealed for the first time. This product is complicated, especially when you make it for the first time. There are a lot of details and a lot of questions come up. Engineers, of course, as well as manufacturing technicians help us. Everyone is involved. Everyone works. Right now, when we are finishing this hole, we are ready to start working on at least five more. The armor's quality is being tested in conditions close to what is expected in the military. All the armor we have comes to us after being shot at at a military firing range. This is like a quality label. Right now, the Malyshev factory is working on several big defense orders. This is an Oplot tank. The second order is modernizing existing T-64 tanks to a modern level, changing power plant units, which will increase maneuverability and also increasing armor thickness and installing modern optics and electronics. This is how the T-64 and T-80 tanks were modernized and shipped to the Ukrainian army. Overall, there are 16 tanks, which is two full companies. Now the Ukrainian military is also getting a new BTR-4. The equipment is ready to use. All we need to do now is for a team to start operating and then head to battle. That is, the equipment is ready for use in combat conditions. There will be no delays here. The equipment will be delivered to military units of the General Staff and the United Forces. New developments were also being demonstrated. Among them are multiple launch rocket systems called SUPSUN.